Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace and peace to you this day. I promised in the mission and ministry moments this week and highlights that I would offer an update on Sunday afternoon about uh, the happenings of the special meeting of Synod Assembly on Friday, July 17th. This was a special meeting held because the original Synod Assembly for 2020 that was to be held in early June had to be canceled for obvious reasons amidst a pandemic. And the meeting was rescheduled for July 17th and was going to be held in person in Minot. Unfortunately, about a week out from that, Synod Council deemed that it was still necessary for people's safety and concern for our health to move the meeting to an all digital format. And so on Friday, June, July uh, 17th, the Synod Assembly met in a special session. The theme of our Synod Assembly was called by name and utilized text from the uh, prophet Isaiah, specifically in the 43rd chapter where Isaiah proclaims and says, do not fear for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. Now the purpose of this special meeting of the Synod Assembly was uh, pretty specific. Um, one, it was to elect people to serve in leadership roles on our Synod Council, um, on the Board of Directors at Luther Seminary and at Lutheran Social Services of North Dakota as well as to approve the ministry financial plan or budget for our synod for the year 2021. The third piece that was involved in this special meeting of synod assembly was the election of a bishop. Now the election of a bishop in our synod is done by something called ecclesiastical ballot. So really in the first ballot or the nominating ballot as it's often referred, someone who is a voting member can write down the name of any pastor in the church anyone at all that they think would serve as a good bishop. Now, as a good shepherd has three outstanding pastors, the chance of one of us being on that nomination ballot is probably pretty good, or at least possible. <laughs> After the nominating ballot, two of our pastors, Pastor Julie and myself, uh, showed up as being nominated for the office of bishop. And so then we went through a, a lengthy voting process, question and answer sessions, speaking to the assembly. Um, and at the end of the day, after the sixth ballot in a lengthy 10 or 11 hour synod assembly, I was elected to serve as the next bishop of the Western North Dakota Synod. Now, as I grieve the transition of a call of 18 years and more for Wendy and I, in this community of Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, I also celebrate and trust that God is at work in and through this new call to serve as Synod Bishop. And so I don't know as of today the exact timelines. I've been in numerous conversations and phone calls and hundreds of text messages over the last couple of days gathering some data together. Um, please know that your Synod Council was already at work on this possibility of a transition um, as early as last fall. And so in the coming days and weeks, uh, Synod Council will be meeting on Tuesday night, um, as well as meeting with staff on Tuesday morning. Um, and we'll hopefully, I'll be meeting with the Synod Council Executive Committee on Monday morning. So within the next few days, uh, over the next week, we'll be able to share more information with you about timelines and um, what that process of transition will look like leading into uh, me assuming the office of Bishop of the Western North Dakota Synod sometime in mid-August to early part of September. Um, within all of this transition comes the knowledge that God is still at work and um, flourishing through each one of you in so many big and beautiful ways. And I know that that will continue long after my time with you is gone. After all, Winnie and I aren't going anywhere. We're gonna stay in our same house. The Office of Bishop is in Bismarck um, and we'll get to see each other still. But the most important thing is that we'll continue to live out our mission and ministry together um, through um, synod leadership now, as well as our congregation. And so please keep on, I, I invite you to continue to keep in your prayers, Wendy and I and the girls as we make this transition and call. I invite you to continue to hold Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in your prayers as it stays strong in its ministry and mission focus. And I invite you to keep in prayer our, all of our brothers and sisters across the Synod, more than 55,000 of them who uh, make up the Western North Dakota Synod and will join together in this journey into a transition time and a new chapter in leadership in our Synod. 
I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve in this way, and I'm thankful for the process that unfolded through the Synod Assembly special meeting on Friday, July 17th. Hold in your hearts the call that you are called by name as the prophet Isaiah proclaims, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I've called you by name. You are mine. Blessings, brothers and sisters. We'll talk again soon.